guys welcome back to our channel today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, repurpose a desk so we got a desk off Kijiji for about $50 if you guys don't know what Kijiji is Kijiji is kind of like a selling platform for um, like kind of like Craigslist in the States it's the selling platform here in Canada in well I guess I Canada yeah so um, today I'm going to be repurposing this desk um, we've had it for about two years, two or three years now, and it's just, the color is outdated, it doesn't match our living room, so, and that's where our computer sits, is in our living room. So, um, I'm going to show you guys the desk, and then I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing with it, so, let me show you. So don't mind the mess in the background, you see a tree right there, that's not where the tree is going to stay, I just kind of pulled this away from the wall, and the tree is going somewhere else. Um, we're just kind of painting our living room right now and I got a great idea to repurpose my desk while I am waiting for the paint on the walls to dry. So the red here is going to be a white, um, just kind of like brightens it up a bit, it's not so vintage looking. Um, here is going to be a nice contact paper as well as on here I'm going to put a contact paper. Now I'm going to tell you I don't know how this is going to turn out, um, but I'm hoping for the best. So let's get started. Okay, so I got some contact paper. Um, it is this pattern here. There we go. So it's like a flowery pattern and it's also scented. Um, the scent will go away eventually, I hope, anyways. Um, but that is going to be the contact paper that I'm using on the, the brown part. And I got it at the dollar store for, I think it was like two bucks, four bucks. It's four bucks and I got two of them to hopefully to cover the rest. Um, so I'm going to get started with painting the red to get rid of the red and then yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is just the first coat um, don't like if you're following this on how to do a how-to um, which I'm hoping you are don't worry about this stuff too much because we're gonna cover that with the contact paper so it's not that big of a deal um, but it definitely needs another coat but the foundation so far is good so I'm gonna let it dry for a couple minutes and I'm gonna do another coat okay so I have finished the paint coats on this now, I'm not a professional painter, so don't come at me. Um, but now I know this looks really terrible on the desk, and if I was um, wasn't covering it with contact paper, I'd be really upset about that. But I'm not because I'm covering it with contact paper. But essentially, this is how it looks, and now I'll be covering it with the contact paper. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I realized that the um, stuff I bought is not actually contact paper, it's drawer liners. So I kind of made a snafu and I have to go out to a store tomorrow and buy contact paper because um, it is 12.30 at night and there's nothing open so I have to wait till tomorrow to finish this project. So I will come back to you guys tomorrow when I finish this project. Okay guys, so it is day two. Um, I had to let this dry overnight because um, I kept trying to like paint over it while it was wet and it wasn't working, it was creating splotches everywhere. So I just want to kind of show you guys. So earlier in this I said that um, I uh, kind of made a boo-boo and um, the, the paper that I bought was not, it didn't work because it wasn't adhesive. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I did though. Okay, so I have my paper here. Please don't mind the mess from the background, it's just like we're still painting the living room right now. 
Um, so yeah, like there's like different color walls and everything. But anyways, back to our sneak peek. Back to our projects. So this here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in this one here. It's actually just a little bit too big. So I made a mistake with this part first. I should have measured out the paper first um, because I was trying to measure this out without um, without the paper down. So or bleh, I was trying to measure this out while the paint was so wet. So the paper kept sticking to the paint. And it was just making a huge mess. So now I'm doing, I'm measuring the paper before I paint it. Because I still don't have any glue even though I should have bought some. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of like what I'm going to do is like I measure this out. And then I'm going to take, I have like a little, um, it's a craft precision. So we have like a store here called Dollarama. And this was literally like, I think it was like $2 as a dollar store. And it's literally just like a sharp blade to cut it. So I go in here and right here it's just a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna cut here. And this blade is like really sharp. Um, if you wanna use something else, that's fine. Like you could draw on it if you wanted to. Just gonna follow the line. Okay. So that's that. So that's done. I'm just gonna throw that there right now. So I still am silly and I didn't buy it as I said glue. So I'm gonna paint underneath this. And then I'm going to just place this down and it should work. I'm just going to this. One thing I forgot to do is I forgot to paint the sides. Hi guys. So I finished the desk. Like it's not completely done. I still have some touch-ups to do. Um, oh, that ring light is bright in the back of this. So let me just kind of show you guys what it looks like when my desk is somewhat put together. Um, it's not completely put together yet because there's still things missing. Um, because it's kind of all over our living room now. Because you can see everything's everywhere. Because we still have one more wall to paint. Um, so one and a half because that one over there too. Stop spoiling it. I'm not spoiling it. Yeah, that is the uh, other thing. You can see it in the background. Shh, nobody will notice. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I'll show you guys what the desk looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like when my desk is put together. So I've got my printer here. Um, I don't have it hooked up, just for the simple fact that this here is my work computer. Um, because I'm working from home right now, so we're not allowed, because I work for the government, we're not allowed to hook up um, outside devices to our computer that are not approved by IT. So the printer is gonna be used for my laptop when I have it. Um, I've got like this little thing here that has a whole bunch of paper in it. Um, as I got my suitcase and a little lamp here and some notebooks on top. But yeah, so this is the finished product. And I hope you guys enjoyed my how to remodel your desk when you are on a budget.